Delightful. Now we're actually streaming again, recording again. Welcome back to the Alexandrian Codex. I am Alex. This is the Volker base. I think we explored everything in here. Uh, we play in Knights of the Old Republic. We are trying to rescue Basila, but before we do that, we have to win a swoop bike race because nothing can be straightforward in Star Wars. Hello, my friend. Nothing to see here. Just go pop up in this Ella elevator. Revenant Malk returned from the Mandalorian. Nope. <laughs> oh, God. All right, this I need to open. And I hope I have the right stuff to open it with. I may not. Right, right, right. I need droid parts to open this because I need to rig a droid to explode it. I'm remembering how this works now. Yeah, to disengage. Cancel combat. Okay, I need to level up. And you're only giving me skills. Cool, 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 cool. Not, not at all annoying. Cool. Uh, demolitions. Dope. Accept. Sneak attack four. Kind of useful. Not immediately useful, but eh, kind of. Junk pile droid, you're what I want. Got what I need. Is it you or is it the other one? You got what I need. Am I being shot from behind? No, okay, sometimes the second group will come out through here. And things get kind of messy. This is not one of those times. <laughs> mm. uh, getting lots of more combat suits and stuff like that that I'm not going to use. Nice to have, but Wookiees don't wear armor. Hello, friends. I, too, am a Volker gang member. You can tell because I kill everything I come across. Get some stuff, walk around the room, see if you dropped anything you didn't. Pop this open. Really nothing going on in here, huh? You have some Pazak cards, a upgrade, you have the garage key, which is pretty cool. Pretty useful, my dude. I remember there being something with a locker in here? Maybe not. Maybe it's in a different part. So we slice into this bad boy. Security cameras, that's a garage. You can overload the swoop bike. It'll make it explode. It's Okay, I can overload the terminal I'm currently on, which would kill me. Loading bay, which we would love to get into. Engine lab has a bunch of bullshit in it. Can't do anything in there. That's it. Security commands. Open all security doors. Doesn't actually open the one door I want to get to. Upload area schematic. That just gives us a map. Dope, so that would kind of a waste of time. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. That's okay. That is a-okay. I will fox around with those droids here shortly. Okay, I don't remember... <laughs> I don't remember what's in this hallway or not, and I don't want these idiots running through mines again, so... Just hang out up there while I do this. Alright, friends. You may join me. Alright, that was a little unnecessary. There's nothing in here. You find it musical? Hmm. What? How, how would you describe, uh... Zalbar's yell as musical. To me, it just sounds kind of aggravating. 
not hearing it. Maybe I've just heard it too many times. Let's upgrade what I'm using. So this gives us an additional attack bonus, which is dope, and additional damage bonus, which is dope. This will give us a much better attack bonus and an additional damage bonus, which is, as previously stated, dope. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know. I'm not sure how the audio file was constructed or what it was recorded off of. It's entirely possible that it is based off of a scale and that it's just been uh, corrupted or fucked with in some slight, insubstantial way. Weird how everyone makes the exact same sound when they die. Okay, so if we go through here, this is what we're looking for, but I'm not doing that yet. Because while it is cool, it's not what I want. What I want is to get through here. Here. Is this the elevator we came in? Nope. This is just a small side room. Okay, so either walkie droid... No, this patrols. This is actually a combat droid. This is the suicide bomber droid. I only have one repair part. Fuck. So... This is why I should have been saving repair parts. Reprogram droid to ram loading bay doors. But as I can't do that right now... I can't get into the loading dock area. There's nothing huge in here, but On it. Damn. that's the only way to get in there. God damn it, Alex. You knew it was coming up, and you still spent unnecessary droid parts in the previous part of this place activating droids you didn't even get good use out of. You foolish man. Foolish. Looks like we have visitors, wackies, con by gate and fact, data and fact. I'm just seeing the Breshik Swoop Engine Accelerator right back. Breshik stole that engine from Gaden. It was never yours to begin with. Why didn't it go into all the trouble of acquiring this prototype just so you could steal it back for that old fool? Would you like me to dispose of these Beck spies, Kandon? No, hold on for a second. I see you aren't wearing hidden Beck colors, so I'm guessing you aren't part of that feeble old man's gang. You must be a freelance mercenary. You're right. I'm not one of the Becks. My name's Sankora. Instead of stealing the prototype for the Becks, why don't you come work for us? The Black Volkers can use someone like you. Uh... What's your offer? What? You can't betray Gadden. I won't let you. You won't stop me. <laughs> ah, mission. The Hidden Becks unofficial mascot. Your loyalty is admirable, but misplaced Gadden only kept you around so they could laugh at you and your furry friend. No, that, that's not true. You're lying. Am I? How long have you known Gat? How long have you worked for him? But they never offered to make you a hidden back, did they? They, they said I was too young. And you believe them? Come on, Mission, you're smarter than that. To Gadden and his crew, you were nothing but a running joke. Weren't they always teasing you? Well, yeah, some of them were, but you folkers have tried to kill me more than once. That's only because you were with the Hidden Backs and because we respect you. Frederick knows you're no joke, Mission. He made sure the Volkers took you very, very seriously. But, but Gadden said Frederick... Gadden had tried to poison your mind against Frederick. It was the only way to keep you from seeing the truth. The Backs were mocking you, Mission. You don't need friends like that. You're right. I don't need anyone but Zalbar. If Gadden dies, he's only getting what's coming to him. Jesus, you're stupid. Uh, you were about to tell me your offer, Candid. Roderick has grown tired of this petty war with Gadden and his pathetic followers. He needs someone to get rid of Gadden. Uh, uh, permanently. If you do this task for him, Roderick is willing to offer a very substantial reward. How does 500 credits sound? Not that good, honestly. Oh, we'll throw in that young Republic soldier we captured, too. 
Uh, how about I just kill you instead? We eat the not done you see, there's not much chance of convincing you to come work for us. After all, most unfortunate. Now, can I kill them, Candon? Yes, darling. Kill them. Kill them all. You're very unlikable people. Okay. Uh, journal entry. Uh, uh, concussion. Sonic. Plat. Uh, just, just get, get fucked. Salvar, you really didn't need to run in there. Yeah, big guy. Now would be a bad time for you to die, so how about you? Nope. Success. Convinced mission she shouldn't trust anyone except for her compatriots, i.e. me, and got to kill people, and didn't have to wander through the Beck base and kill them. It's actually probably, experience-wise, a better idea to go evil here, go take, go kill, <laughs> kill Gadden, but, uh, it's, it's unnecessary. I'm a little sad that I fucked up getting in to here, but it's not going to be the end of the world. In fact, there's nice stuff in there, but nothing really that nice and nothing we can't get later on in the game. So... Maybe later. Me. I'll try to remember that's down here. I won't, but, you know, I'll try. Oh my god, how I'll try. I'll try. All the time you were a mistake, disabled sentry, you were a horrible mistake. <laughs> Don't want to look at you. I'm, I'm trying to think if the upper city droid shop will have at least four droid parts in it I kind of doubt it there might be four droid parts in the entirety of the game uh, throughout all the different vendors here because I haven't bought them yet uh, yeah, yeah, well. four droid parts Volker days. Excellent note taking. Mm -hmm. What well, back? Dope. Dope. Garden. You have a small army of people, but we're unable to do what I was able to do single-handedly. You're a terrible gang Return. leader. You have the prototype swoop engine accelerator with you? My man, I do. I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Dope. Uh, right? Where's my reward? A reward? I'm blind, but I'm not stupid. Your reward is the chance to ride in the big swoop race so you can win Bastila's freedom. We had a deal, and I expect yeah. you to honor it. I'm altering the terms. What's to stop me? Pray I do not alter them further, old man. Uh, I lived up to my end of the deal. You better come through. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner, and I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm Great. even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Would Golly. You you won't stand a chance. Okay. Gavin, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the race. Uh, wh why are you doing this? I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. The accelerator isn't stable. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. I can't ask one of my own riders to take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. 
you'll be the only one using the prototype. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. You piece of shit. All right, I'm ready. You can stay here tonight. What a the favor. Mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine, so you won't be able to practice your riding. Great. But I've got good instincts, and you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax, and in the morning we'll take you to the swoop track. You spend a restless night in the back base, and in the morning one of the backs takes you to the swoop racing pits, where only racers and mechanics are allowed to go. Where only racers and mechanics are allowed to go. There we go. So, you're the one who's going to ride the swoop bike. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, I've been working on the accelerator, and stability won't be a problem. I hope. You got mentioned you've never done this before. You want me to run over the basics of handling a swoop bike for you? Uh, no. Let's get to the racing. Hold on, I better explain the rules to you. I said no, game. But now must. Uh, each rider goes out on the track alone. At the end of the day, whoever posted the fastest time is a winner. Normally, a rider can run as many heats as they want, but I don't know how long the prototype accelerator on your swoop will hold up. No more than four or five races, I'd guess. So make your runs count. Got to put its trust in you. We need to win this race of Project Volkers. We'll get a whole bunch of new recruits. If that happens, we're finished. I won't let you down. Sounds like you're ready. Go down to the race, and now it's over by the counter. He'll give you the time to beat and get you out on the course. I'll be waiting for you here after the run so I can make any tweaks or repairs to your swoop in case you need to go out for another heat. No luck. Don't worry about the prototype overheating and exploding where you're out on the track. That probably won't happen. Talk, talk more. Talk more. All right, let's save over. Save scum. Delightful. Can I? Gameplay. Hmm, key mapping. Auto save. There's not a game. Quick save, quick save, quick save, quick save. F4 and F5. Oh my god. This is a built in thing. Oh, well, okay. So F4. I could have been doing that. Oh, well, alright, yeah. There's a bunch of people we could talk to. I'm not going to talk to them. Hello, Basla. They seem to have dressed you in BDSM gear for some reason. Because, well, you know, not really BDSM. You have, like, full-length pants, brassiere, some sort of weird belt, underwear over the pants. Got a weird vibe going on here. Prepare to race, right? Let's see who your sponsor is. Ah, oh, you're riding for the head and backs. I see. Always like them. I hope they can show these vocals a thing. A poo bag. I digress. Okay, you're registered now. Good luck. Try not to get yourself killed. Only lost one rider today, and they want to keep it that way. Whenever you're ready, you can hit the track. I want to race one of my heats. Okay, let's get you on the track. Circa Corporation. I forget the controls. Space bar. It's space bar. Okay. Yeah. Jesus Christ, game, you don't tutorialize how to play a fucking game. <laughs> well, the players just have to figure it out. Bootstraps, etc., etc. Well, at least my next time will definitely be better, be better than this one, because I won't spend a couple of seconds floundering. Hey, you did it! You got the top time. You beat racers who've been doing this for 20 years. This is amazing. Someone who's never ridden a swoop bike today comes in and, wait a minute, I don't believe it. Look at the board when the Volkers should beat your time. Ah, it was redress. I should have known. <laughs> That's okay. The day isn't over yet. The accelerator's still hung together. You just have to get out there and show them how it's done. Again. Back again, I see. So are you ready to hit the track? Not whether really, of course. We've already lost one rider that way today. I want to wear one of my heats. Okay, let's get you on the track. <laughs> Oop. Oop. Okay. I didn't actually check what the time beat is. I don't strongly care what it is. It's probably like 25 seconds if I had to guess. It's very easy to do this in under 30, so it's definitely under 30. Yeah, okay. 24.03. Is that good enough for you? 
You did it. You did it. 20 years, I've never seen anything. Anybody can handle a swoop like that before. Nobody's going to beat that time. Nobody, I guess, got a new way of doing when he picked you to ride for us. Now the only thing to do is wait for the time to become official and go collect your prize. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the winner of this year's swoop race. Put your hands together and show your appreciation for one of the most daring riders this swoop track has ever seen. Through your skill and courage, you've proven yourself to be the premier swoop rider on Terrace, and you brought great glory to the Hidden Back Gang. N now, here to present the champion's prize project, Peter of the Black Bolt. People, hear me! Before I have the same voice actor as this other guy. With their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated. <laughs> we could only afford so many hours in the recording booth, so we figured. Frederick, other unlikable character? Ah, same voice. Uh, you're a damn liar, Frederick. Your swoop fight was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an accelerator. unfair advantage. Because of this hidden back treachery, I'm withdrawing the Volker's share of the victory prize. You can't do this, Frederick. You know the rules. Nobody's allowed to withdraw a victory prize after the race. It goes against all of our most sacred traditions. Sacred, though? You're gambling on you fool. street races. Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. <laughs> I am the wave of the future. this woman on the slave market myself. Nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that magic. Ugh. <laughs> what? Impossible. Impossible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor. How could you have possibly summon the will to free yourself? Pretty easily, apparently. the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezhik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Focus to me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! Very, you know, level-headed, balanced guy. Just like... Kill her. Kill her, kill everyone. No, uh, what? What's to disagree with there? Clearly, the guy doesn't have any, any problems, any issues to deal with whatsoever. Definitely someone that people would be lining up to work under. You're about to kick my ass. No. Bastila. <laughs> this seems rather scripted. Bastila's tanking a lot of the aggression here. Oh god, if I can't beat Brezhnik on my own, I definitely cannot beat the arena on my own. Ooh, awkward. Awkward. I'm missing so much. Miss. 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 There we go. That wasn't that wasn't painful at all. So we get our lightsaber armband gloves. Yeah. Yeah yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not gonna talk to you yet, that's all. I'm not gonna talk to you yet. Wow, that was really an underwhelming Maybe those amount of stuff. Will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize, wait. I'm exactly right. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Smooth Isn't recovery. Sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? It's a long story. Well, we don't have time for it now. We have to get out of here before the Sith show up to sort out this mess. Is there somewhere safe we can go? Well, I'm currently sh sharing it very open apartment with two beds with three other people. You're welcome to join us. Save me. Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? And as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Okay. Rescue would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. They really tried to make Bastila unlikable very early on. I... we don't have time for this. Karth and Nasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved you say so. Doesn't seem that great to over. me. And he sent you here to save me. Sure. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. 
Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Basil is kind of a terrible Jedi. Like, Between the three of us, I'm sure we can very, figure out some way to very easy to realize we're here. <laughs> manipulate and influence and turn to the dark side if that's what you want to do. But she has battle meditation. Oh man. You cannot win, Revan. Why the subtitles? <laughs> what an emotional face. Bastila, you're alive! Finally things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? We'll figure something out. I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Terrace will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. She isn't really new at it, though, right? Like, here. That she's... hardly strikes me as an appropriate way <laughs> she's of been field commander before. I'm a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. God, you are children. Uh, shut up. Yes, you're right, of course. I apologize, Carl. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge, but we all it's need me. to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there, we just have to find it. The truth is out there, man. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. Uh, okay, let's get off this planet. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Yes. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something ah, wrong? Just go hit up you some bars. What a great, fucking great plan. Uh, something happened when we met. A vision. A vision of what? You fighting this Revan. Strange. Me. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. What? What? What's a twist? Uh, what do you mean? I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own force abilities. God. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. Uh, this isn't the first time I've had a vision. The force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Really Once not all that wise. Us, we can seek the but okay. of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. This game really utilizes meaningful ellipses. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. If there is any mm, hint, hint, player, there may be more to this than uh, you're being led to believe. Yeah, dope. Uh, we can upgrade uh, your light grade. No, upgrade your lightsaber. No, I cannot upgrade this. Pity I can upgrade the armor a little bit. Nope, nope, I'm a liar. No. Alright, so who Who do I want to come with? Uh not Talbar. That's for damn sure. Bass look, she's a Jedi and she has passive healing, which is very good. Between Karth and Mission, I think Karth puts out the higher DPS, so we're probably gonna go with him. Basila, Karth. Yeah, I don't like Zalbar at all. <laughs> Mission talked about her brother. Maybe we should keep her around. I can't remember if she has another conversation. I can't remember if Karth has another one. So let's let's keep Mission. Yeah. Sure. As soon as I get T3, you're out. You're hey there, human. If you're the writer of Wonder Great Swoop Race in the Lower City, yeah? Yep. I have a message from Candorous Order who says to meet you in the cantina. Thanks. Wise choice, I would advise not to wait too long. Mandalorians are known for many things, but patience is not one of them. Yes. Alright, uh, okay. You... 
would probably benefit the most from dexterity here. Dexterity or constitution, so dexterity. If you can get that to a plus five, that would be very nice. Here, treat injury, maybe. Awareness, maybe. The Jedi heal ability, I don't think, uses the treat injury skill to treat... Whatever, I'm still going to raise it. Powers. Let's see. Cure. Heals, our par the heals all party members within 15 meter radius. Heals 5 HP plus 1 point for every charisma modifier, wisdom modifier, and level of force user. Okay, so... Back, back. So we get a plus 1... Can turn that into a plus four modifier because her dexterity will keep her from getting hit and make her be able to do more damage provided she's using certain style of fighting but treat injury isn't used at all so let's put it into awareness she'll see mines which isn't the most exciting thing but it's potentially useful she has force aura gets defensive bonus i don't want to give her shock or fear or slow energy resistance uh no Force Valor. Burst of Speed, maybe. I'm not loving any of these. Wait, isn't there a droid stun? Yeah, get that. That will be useful. Except, level up. Get more aware. Get wound, slow, fear. I guess shock. Yeah, you're not going to be very good at it. Skill. You get, get woke, Bastila. Get hella woke. Two weapon fighting will be useful for her, but that's not what I want immediately. What I want immediately is... Is she the wrong type of Jedi to get lightsaber finesse? She is. Because she's a counselor and not a guardian? Consular? Well, okay. Let's just give her this. <laughs> Plus one to attack with lightsabers, powers, finally get cure, which is more important than anything else. Dope. So she's what? staying in our party for the foreseeable future in most of the game because she can actually heal, which fucking nobody else can do. Oh. Wear him. Uh, Sell me things. You, my man, have parts. And spikes. Thank you. Uh, I will sell you all but two antidotes. I'm going to sell you these repair kits because they're not useful yet. I'm going to sell down to... You know what? Just fuck me up. Just, just... Fuck, fuck this up. Get get rid of that. I... Uh, this is medium. Sell it. Keep that, though. I'm going to have to sort through equipment. <laughs> Breshik's belt gives a minus five to bludgeoning. So... His armband gives a minus five to slashing, and he had... What the fuck is the third piece of Brezhik's gloves? Yeah, plus one to dexterity. Pretty good. Will, awareness, or will and awareness. We're going to get this headband. We need to get the feet that lets us start getting implants, but that also relies on our constitution, which isn't really that high, so we might have to start raising our constitution rather than anything else. We'll, we'll get there. But these implants can be very good. This does nothing passive, and I don't like using active items. Okay, Bastila. Bastila. Nothing in there. Let's give you... Reflex saves, I guess. Say plus two wellness. Let's give you will save. Mission, you can have awareness saves. Yeah, yeah. Can I sell all these garbage items now? Alright, so one to four versus one to eight. Jesus. Why? It does physical damage. Ah, uh, whereas this is energy, so this breaks through shields more easily. Okay, fair enough. Um, still going to ignore that. Can I? I'm just doing this to make sure everybody's properly equipped. Karth, you are way <laughs> ready. Ready to level up. Let's go on your feet. Two weapon fighting is your thing. Pistols are your thing. Doing not at all. Implanting conditioning, we already got you. Proof toughness. Caution? Nah. Nah. Gearhead, no. Conditioning. Maybe conditioning. Implant? Maybe, but I would rather save the implants for myself right now. Right, so you have Karth's Blaster, which is 2 to 7. 
it's upgradable so we can make it better. And you're just using a standard blaster pistol in the other hand, which get rid of that crap. You are still using melee weapon. I'm gonna sell your bowcast. I'm here. <laughs> oh no, I clicked buy instead of sell. I'm gonna sell that. Cause I don't want it. Sell, 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 sell. You don't have enough money. Oh, it's just expensive. So Game of are you sure you want to sell this expensive thing? Yes, very sure. Sell it, sell it. Keep it. Sell, 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 sell. Okay, uh, get rid of the synthesized odor, because that'll never be useful again. Now we're running around with four grand. Now we can hit up all the vendors on this stupid planet, buy robot parts, for droid parts, go down to where I wanted to go down to, into that stupid room with loot that probably isn't worth it, but it's a matter of completionism, and by god, I will complete it. Something seems to be bothering Garth, what else? Yes, I want to continue. I our thought discussion. I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. You were pretty clear about that, but apparently we're really bad with boundaries in this game, so fuck your feelings. Listen, sister, just because we're working together doesn't mean you get to go badger me with constant questions. No, that's true. But this is a Bioware game, so you're wrong. Uh you damn right it does. Blast it if you aren't the most frustrating woman to talk to. Isn't there someone else you can harass for a little while? I mean the Wookiees right there. What is it exactly about me that frustrates oh, you? Oh no, I'm not falling for that one. I wasn't born yesterday, you know. All right, and you say I'm frustrating what, the deal. What did I do? Many things, man. Many things. Where have you been? Uh, okay, I give up. You win. Look, I suppose I could use someone to talk to. I'm just not used to it, and I don't know why you're so interested. But here goes. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respect the most. Saul. Thing sounds With familiar. With good reason. Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him and he got angry and he left. I never saw him again. How can you not see through that? I didn't want to, maybe. Are you so sure you would have? Yeah, Carl, you're momentum. kind of oblivious. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. Even when things looked to be at their worst, I just I couldn't conceive of it. You said that. He, he couldn't be serious. I can't now, conceive wrong, it. Of course, he not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. Do you really believe that? I don't know, maybe. He might have killed me if I tried, or I might have killed him. I was stupid, however, and I let him go. No, I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. I'm sorry for you. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Uh, okay, buddy. Okay. Feeling time is over. Just gonna take those feelings and just push them deep down. Suppress those feelings. Don't healthily engage with our emotions, not just crush them down. Hey, look at this. A real live celebrity right here in my shop. Winning that swoop bike race has made you into something of a local hero. If times weren't so tough, I'd give you a discount, seeing as how you're a big celebrity and all. But with the Sith occupation, I can barely afford to keep the doors open. <sighs> Why mention it then? Let me see what you have to Because say. of the Sith quarantine, I haven't been able to stock any new inventory, but I've still got some nice items you might be interested in. Yeah. Nice. Uh, you and I have different ideas of what nice entails, because I'm not seeing nice in here. I'm not seeing nice at all. The only thing in here I might constitute as nice is 
Sith Sniper Rifle is actually quite good. You get a plus one to hit, it does a decent amount of damage, has okay range, but it's just an improved, improved blaster rifle, which I won't even use. You have this, which is okay. Double-bladed sword I wanted. Now, it's the Achani Ritual Band that I really wanted in case I wanted to go two-handed, but we have such a fucking hard time hitting with even a one-handed weapon right now. This isn't something I can transition to, unfortunately. So let's go talk to the droid lady in the hopes that she has more droid parts. If she doesn't, then getting that droid door open is going to be very, very difficult. <laughs> Maybe even, um, impossible. And if it is impossible, that's... Well, it is what it is. Hey, Bastila. You ever use the forest just for fun? You know, a little jolt to the forest to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off? I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Is it, though? Oh, come on. There's gotta be times when you thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. I merely have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Mr. <laughs> what is happening with these Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... What the... Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future. Ho oh, oh. ho. Ho ho he he. People who are wise typically won't claim that they're fonts of wisdom. People who are humble will often not say that they are humble. People who are mature often don't go on about how mature they are. So Basila being like, I'm so wise and dignified and well adjusted. Doubt it. Please, human, I'm injured in need of assistance. These Juban children keep hitting and kicking me. I cannot reason with them, but if I fight back, I will be arrested. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Ah, Americans. I mean, uh, racism. Uh, please, human, help me. Maybe these offspring of your species will listen to you. Hey, kids, we'll be at the ring. What do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Both of you are voiced by adult women. Children. Uh, get out of here or you'll be the ones in pain. Oh, run for it! Thank you, human. I was returning from a visit with work associate when those child humans attacked me and chased me through the streets. Uh, should be okay. I'm glad I could help. Once more, thank you for saving me from those human children. I must take leave of you now. My life mate will be wondering where I am. Fucking sad. Oh, racism. The, the thing is, that's not just fictional. That's not just a dramatic fictional representation of what it's like to live in a multi-tiered society. Stuff like that happened, and people didn't intervene in the last century. In several parts of the world, even today, stuff like that happens without intervention. Back again, I see why I've never turned the potential customer away yet. New interest in what I have in stock. Let me see what you have for sale. Let me see your inventory. My inventory is a bit limited because of the quarantine. You have infinite parts and computer spikes. Oh, right. I love this lady. I think she's one of the only ones in the game with infinite parts and computer spikes. Right. Right. Just gonna... Just gonna blow all of my money on that. And we're going back down to the Volker base. <laughs> so I can get into that fucking room. <laughs> that probably isn't even worth the effort or the amount of money I just spent to make it happen. But by God, I must know. 
I guess that's a good reminder. I should be more conservative with the resources we have. I don't need to repair every droid. I don't need to get every map. Not unless my hacking skills were way better than they are and I could do it for free. And that is a thing you can do later on in the game. We're just, we're not there yet. We are not at all there yet. Like 15 minutes. All right. Okay, back through here. Round to the left. When you're playing through the game the first time, downloading map schematics and stuff like that can make it a lot easier to find your way around, but as I played through this game at least five or six times in my life, I should have internalized maps of just about everything we're going to run into. Hey, so go... Die for me, junk pile droid. This is your life's purpose. Opening that one door. Surprise, bitch! That's what you gotta do that. Man. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> gotta do a little better than that, though. Fuck. Let's make this quick. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cure, 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 yes. cure. Fuck. What? I picked you up for one reason. Ah, that's fine. Yeah. And I don't have anything to heal with. Mm. Mm. Isn't this fun? What? So we got an auto save. I guess. Yeah. Let's let's load that auto save because. I think I need to manually control Basila, or I actually need to change her combat script. She is on default attack, and she needs to be on Jedi support, because otherwise she won't what? actually use her heal anywhere near enough, and we'll just die horribly. Maybe I should have switched out mission. She's not that good. Karth would be better. Probably. What do you mean I must gather my... Girl. Girl. Any... Day. Now, nah, there we go. Alright, hello again, my friend. Uh, yep. Go die for the cause. Quick save right here. Alright, this time, maybe don't die horribly. This this one patrol droid is tougher than anything else you'll encounter in this fucking yeah. place. Alright. Stun the droid. No, 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 no. You have a specific ability called Stun Droid. Stun Droid. Not working so well. There we go. Thank you. All right, stop. Yeah. Control the Jedi if you can. <laughs> All right, so 200 experience, not bad. We can sell all this, but that won't recoup our profits. Recoup our profits? Done. This strong box has 2,000 credits and six computer spikes in it. Fucking worth it. And five plasma grenades, which ends up being about 1,500 credits. Very worth it to come in here. Even if the backtracking is a little annoying, we now quick save, and we get the fuck out of here. Worth. I knew it was good, I didn't remember it was that good. Let's see, I spent 200 credits on each of the spikes, or each of the droid parts. I spent 250 on spikes, so for the four to get in here, that's... 800 credits, so I made 1,200 profit, plus the bonus I got from the computer spikes. Yeah, yeah. That that was, all in all, a very profitable venture. Now we can go talk to Candorous Ordo and deal with all that, but I just wanted to get dinero first. 
we got a hyper battle stimulant which is basically a plus everything it's quite good i'm going to steer away from using it because it's a one-time deal but it's still quite good now we can go meet up with Candorus. well i think it's down here yeah I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. What are you talking about? My name's Kandaras Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them, and I had nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. Why are you telling me this? I've got a this? plan to escape, Taras, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. You don't need to ally yourself with this person. We should move on while we can. Oh, yeah, I ain't I talking to you. I'm talking with your friend. This motherfucker's Mandalore. I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. Yeah, you're damn I need right. someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. <laughs> What's in it for me? Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Uh, I'll be back when I get those codes. Good luck. You're going to need it. The entrance to the base is sealed up tight. Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom built by Janice Nall. Just tell her Kander has sent you, and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Janice is a nice lady. She has literally unlimited droid parts. Uh, won't Davik be mad? Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally, I'd do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. All right. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. Sooner or later, you'll figure this out. Either we work together or we both stay stuck here on Taurus. Come back and speak to me again when you've come to your senses. I said... I said yes. I figured you'd be back. But we've got a small problem. I have if you Oh, uh I'll be back when I get the codes. Okay, I I thought I had accidentally said no. Or the game interpreted what I did as a no. Zax, can we do any more bounty hunting for you? Uh Selvin, she dead. Bendax Starkiller, yeah. Bendax, a government contract, but he's a legend on Terrace. He started out as a duelist in the upper cantina and never lost, but he only fought death matches. He killed hundreds in his day. Then, death matches got banned. Duel ring switched to non lethal combat, but Bendax wasn't ready to retire. He kept on dueling in the legal underground circuit. He kept killing people. Finally, the government had no choice but to put bounty on him. But Bendax, a big folk hero, so not too many try to collect. Those who do all wind up dead, wind up dead anyway. Uh, Dia has been called off. Largo we paid Matrix. We faked his death. Okay, so Bendak Star Killer is the one person left, and to do that we have to do the silly arena bit, and frankly, I'm not sure we can. Not to not to be overly negative, naturally, but I just don't think we have it in us. We suck in combat. I was I was imagining we would be able to raise our attributes more often than we've been able to, but holy fuck, no. No, not at all. They've stayed very low the entire time. Level 7? I, I don't remember how many levels. So, that's where we're going. But first we need to go get the droid. 
he gets destroyed, we get the codes, we have to go back to him. Right, so before we go back to him, but after we get the codes, that would probably be the best time to go to the arena, because that's probably the highest amount of experience and level I'll have before leaving the planet. Yeah, that's a good plan. Hello. I'm here for the droid. Oh, Candorous sent you. Well, why didn't you say so? This droid is ready, you can have it for 2,000 credits. Uh... Give me that droid for free, and Davik will close down the shop permanently. <laughs> hey, I don't want any trouble with Davik. Here, take the droid. He's yours. But the next time Davik wants me to do some custom work, he's out of luck. Goodbye, mission. Hello, T3. T3 M4. Not T34. Back again. Hey, hello. Uh, yeah, sorry about, you know, being rude last time. It's just like, fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Sell these plasma grenades. Um, brilliant. Now, 34 computer spikes and 8 parts. I'm just gonna go here and... Yeah! Yeah, that's better. 27 parts. Level up our droid friend here. You were so smart! I didn't... I didn't know this could go above 20. Is the max 30 in this game? Or is it like 20? Uh, whatever. Uh, yeah. Dexterity will make you hit harder and harder to hit. But intelligence, if we lean on that, it makes you better at your skills. Uh, let's give them dexterity. So, you my dude, you're good at everything I'm not good at. I'm great at demolitions. I'm great at persuading. I'm great at security. You are really good at computer use, repair, and security. So, as long as I do the demolitions and the talking, you can do all the computer shit. And I love you for it, you tiny little droid. Yeah. Beats. Uh, right. So... T3 here is definitely going to be using blaster pistols. Toughness might be a good thing to get here, but I'm actually going to give him improved gearhead. It's it. The gender T3 is him, but it. Them. They. Uh, repair and security and computer use. That is all I want in the world. T3. Ah, Max is 30. Jesus. I couldn't remember what the rule set is. This game is really easy if you actually know 3E mechanics, 3rd edition mechanics. If you don't, some of this shit is real, real not clear. Like, the game never explains what modifiers do, or that they're only on even numbers, or any of this other built-in knowledge that you get from get playing D20 games. It is never, ever explained what fortitude, reflex, and will are, or how they're calculated. What your two-hit number is calculated based off of, what your damage is based off of. So, yeah, I, I think the assumption was, when they made this game, was that people would... Nerds play Dungeons and Dragons, so of course they'll just know how this works, right? Uh, demolitions and stealth? Nah, nah, that's not what you're about, my little dude. Let's give him more toughness? Uh, uh, nah, I'm making better with blaster piss. Okay. Alright. You can have integrated blasters. Let's give him two blasters. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't even have two blasters to give him. We'll get there, little guy. We'll get there. I... When I played through, I... This was way before I played my first tabletop role-playing game. So I had no idea what the fuck was going on. I'm just like, strength seems good. Strength means more damage and dexterity while I'm using a sword. Why would I care about that? <laughs> There's a lot of nuance here that was totally lost on me because the game doesn't clearly convey that it's a little significant. All right. So we're doing the Sith base. Then I'm going to suffer through the arena because a charisma build is not good for fighting in arenas. Hey, you can't be in here. This is a restricted area. Better tell me what you're doing or I'm going to hit the alarm. 
Uh, I'm here for a meeting. Don't worry, I know where I have to go. <laughs> I don't think you can ever succeed at that. Nice try. What do you think? You're doing better. Tell me why your hero hit this alarm, and you'll have to about three seconds before this office is swarming with some soldiers. Uh, I don't want to have to hurt you. Don't shoot, I just work here. I never wanted any part of this. I would just hope when the suit took over, but they wouldn't let me. Alright, get out of here and I'll let you live. You know, it's about time someone stood up to my alarm going off. Though, sis, just do me a favor and wait until I'm out of here before you start blasting the place up. Yes, can do. Can do. And I can do this and say if you're watching on youtube this is the end of another hour so if you want to watch more you're gonna have to stop by again tomorrow till then make sure to comment share like subscribe all of that silly stuff and um i'll see you later doodles